This is the JTV Caribbean News. I am Sean Rose. Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Kamla Posad Bisesa's cabinet has lost its second minister in less than a week, both due to bad behavior. On April 2nd, Posad Bisesa announced the revocation of the appointment of Minister of Tourism Chandresh Sharma, just six days after she fired Minister of the People and Social Development Dr. Glenn Ramad Hassing for disorderly conduct on board a Caribbean Airlines flight. Sharma's appointment was revoked Wednesday night after he handed in his resignation amidst reports of the assault of his former girlfriend, Sasha Singh. On Monday night, Bisesa said she decided to accept the resignation submitted by Sharma. The Prime Minister added that there has been some discussion on the number of times changes have been made in her cabinet. She said it is a measurement of her commitment to maintaining the high ideals upon which they were elected. This is the 12th minister to have been removed from the cabinet since the Coalition People's Partnership government came to office in May 2010. A JetBlue plane was forced to make an emergency landing at the Norman Manley International Airport in Jamaica on Monday evening, shortly after takeoff. Senior Director of Commercial Development and Planning at the Airports Authority of Jamaica, Alfred MacDonald, said the flight with 98 passengers and four crew members landed safely. However, four passengers had to be taken for medical attention as a result of injuries sustained while exiting the aircraft. The Airports Authority of Jamaica reported that approximately 15 minutes into the flight, the pilot noticed smoke in the cockpit and notified the control tower that the airplane would have to turn back. The incident led to delays of other flights scheduled to leave the airport late Monday. The government of Jamaica has signed a framework agreement with China Harbor Engineering Company for the development of a transshipment hub in the Portland Bight area. The selection of the environmentally sensitive Portland Bight area has led to controversy within Jamaica, as it is classified as a protected area. Speaking at the signing ceremony on March 28, Works Minister Dr. Omar Davies emphasized that all regulations will be adhered to in the normal way. The government said the proposed hub would create as many as 10,000 jobs upon completion. Davies said after the required studies are carried out, including the environmental assessment, the project will be going ahead. The government said China Harbor Engineering Company had made moves to engage Jamaica's National Environment and Planning Agency to study the project's feasibility. Once the economic benefits are clearly void of environmental harm, implementation will begin. And in China Harbor, we have a trustworthy partner, Davies said. Inter-Caribbean Airways is launching new service between Kingston and Montego Bay, Jamaica. The regional airline will be operating the service on a 30-seat Embraer 120 aircraft with flights set to start on April 16. Inter-Caribbean Airways is the former Air Talks and Caicos. The carrier rebranded itself last year and has rapidly expanded, providing much-needed flights in the Caribbean. The national airline of the Turks and Caicos Islands on Monday, March 31st, added some 20 new flight plans in the first four months since its rapid rebrand and expansion. Inter-Caribbean Airlines flies between Turks and Caicos, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, and the Bahamas. St. Lucia has confirmed its first case of chikungunya. The number of confirmed cases in the Caribbean from the mosquito-borne viral disease continues to rise. According to the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, there have been some 3,211 confirmed chikungunya cases reported in the region to date. Five of those infected with the virus have died, while 15,282 people are suspected to have chikungunya in the region. The French-speaking island of Guadeloupe is showing the greatest increase in numbers since last week. Since the outbreak in December 2013, chikungunya has been reported in several Caribbean islands and recently for the first time in South America in French Guiana. The Center for Disease Control reports that there are no drugs to treat or prevent chikungunya. A distinguishing symptom of the virus is severe pain to the joints of the hands and feet, which can be debilitating. 
The London premiere of the Caribbean comedy film Keeping Up With The Joneses, The Movie, which took place on March 27, 2014, was sold out in advance. The movie is a spin-off from the award-winning hit Keeping Up With The Joneses. The series, which has been shown on satellite and cable television in Britain since May 2013 and has been very popular with viewers. In the film, the Joneses family are kidnapped, having become famous after featuring in a reality show, but help is at hand when the brother-in-law and his friends go on a mission to save them. The comedy thriller is the first Caribbean film cinema premiere in the UK for 2014 and the first full feature film from Barbados ever to be shown in an official cinema in Britain. Hot on the heels of Oscar success for British Caribbean film director Steve McQueen, director of Keeping Up With The Joneses, Rommel Hall is hoping for similar success. He said they may not be quite at Oscar level yet but hope to follow in Steve McQueen's footsteps one day. It is hoped that the film will receive a wider release in London, UK. For the JTV Caribbean News, Sean Rose. Coming up next on JTV News. Hotel rooms are booked and plans are in full gear for Virgin Gorda Easter Festival. The art of food service training could reduce the number of work permit applications for basic entry-level jobs in the BVI. And black violin reaches out to students before entertaining a packed audience at the HLSCC.